<sighs> well, it's just beautiful out here. Flowers are blooming. There's green everywhere. The birds are chirping. Oh, 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 good God. Oh, that's not okay. Well, I guess it's spring. Hey, what's cracking YouTube? I'm Brandon. Welcome to Da Vinci's Alchemist, your blue collar guide for drinking well, stinking pretty. Uh, the weather is starting to turn. The green's coming out. The leaves on the trees are coming out. The flowers are blooming all around us. It's spring and it's, uh, it's actually, we are quite a bit past the vernal equinox. So technically we're, we're more moving towards the middle of spring right now. And spring is great because we start to kind of put away that dark, brooding, sullen coldness that we've had over the winter. We start to feel a little brighter, a little more energetic, a little bit more hopeful. This is the start of the time of rebirth. Point being, of course, is that it's, it's a time of reawakening. And of course, all of this has to do with fragrances. The fragrances that we choose this time of year, for me, are definitely some of the brighter, greener, most definitely greener, and a little bit more energetic. So of course I wanted to bring you 10 fragrances that I am going to be focusing on this spring season. As per the usual, these won't be the only ones that I pick, but I kind of, you know, I chose these out of my collection for, uh, for me to focus on during the spring season. I'll definitely be wearing them more than once and I'll definitely be spending a good deal of time with each one. Before I get started, I wanna remind you two things. One, of course, is if you're new to my channel, don't forget to stick around Watch the whole video. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And number two is uh, all of the, the fragrances from this collection are of course uh, my full bottles from my collection. So with that in mind, I do as per my use, uh, I do, did decide to throw one honorable mention only because I don't have a full bottle and that is Blonde from Hendley. This really comes across to me as a still wet sort of yellow hay punctuated by some nice soft suede leather. It's kind of like a, a hot Midwest cowgirl smoking a, a Virginia Slim, giving that party attitude, hanging out in the sun. Really enjoy the hell out of this. Just waiting on Mr. Henley to uh, get back the full bottles. Uh, he took a little bit of a break recently to restock his fragrances, but believe me, we'll have a full bottle of this in the future. This is Blonde from Hendley. Oh, hi, Mr. Bucket. Thank you for coming by. Hi, hi. Okay, go fuck off. Continuing forward in this spring list is one that is relatively recent, relatively new, I should say. Uh, this is a Toy Boy from Moschino. This, it's a weird bottle. I mean, it's a bear and the head comes off. So, nightmare city for kids. But this is like soft rose with a little bit of uh, green leafy aloe. It's fresh and it's juicy, and then it becomes this kind of, um, this dry cedary particle board kind of note, kind of a, a chord, and it's very airy and spicy. This actually uh, reminds me if you were to take uh, you or someone like you, I think is the name of it from Ita Libre Derange, and uh, Lady Vengeance from Juliet Has a Gun and the two of them had a love child, that would be this one. This is Toy Boy from Moschino. Moschino? Moschino. What would green spring-like weather be without a dryad? Dryad from Papillon. Dryad is a green-eyed, scantily clad wood nymph flirting with you from a moss and ivy-covered tree out deep, deep in the woods. It is a gorgeous, bold, to me, very intense Shepra. It's very green, quite floral, has huge amounts of depth, super, super complex, puts you right smack dab in the middle of a deep forest. Oh, it's just beautiful. Check it out if you have not. Dryad from Papillon.
recently I did kind of a fragrance masterclass uh, with this fragrance house uh, put on by Bellini's in Portland. This again is like a recent pickup. Hopefully I won't ruin the French on this. This is L'Etoile Noir from Olibert Paris. This has a wonderful citrus attitude, a nice little bit of woods, has a great floral and tonka backbone. There's a touch, just a touch of tobacco and musk. Oh, it's awesome. Um, this was inspired by the movie Mulholland Drive. Uh, if you don't have not heard about Ola Bear, Ola Bear, uh, the brand owner uh, and creative director, she gets all of her inspiration from movies, puts them into the fragrances, you know, talks with the different perfumers. Really, really stellar house. I will have a uh, welcome to the couch house overview of this brand coming in the future. This is definitely a fragrance that you can wear in the evening time, but also, you know, during the daytime in the thick of spring. From Ola Bear, L'Etoile Noir. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge fan of Iris. Uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to suggest fragrances to people without including some Iris-based fragrances it's just a note that I absolutely love. So I, of course, had to include the original Dior Homme. Now this is definitely not the new 2020 version. Uh, this one I picked up in around 2018, which is evidenced um, by the black stem instead of the silver stem. Point being, the iris. It has that beautiful, creamy lipstick iris. It's woody. What's great about this is it has a nice little citrus blast to it. This is a great for every situation, board shorts on the beach, but you put this on before you suit up and go out for the night. Perfect, amazing, wonderful, stellar, stellar fragrance for the spring, Dioro. Now, if Dryad from Papillon comes off as that, you know, that badass, scantily clad wood nymph, this next one, Eider Antler from January Scent Project, it evokes the image of the old ancient forest god, Kernanos. He lumbers slowly through the forest, moss hanging from his horns, shaking off the slumber of the deep winter. He steps through the thick forest mist, swirling around him, throws back his head and lets out a bugle, bugled call of the wild. This to me is old world fertility in a bottle. It is so wonderful and amazing. It is one of the most interesting fragrances that I have and I friggin' love it. If you wanna get old world, if you wanna get old mythology, if you wanna get deep into the depths, the depths of spring in the woods, Eider Antler, from January Scent Project. I feel like a lot of people know about this next one up on my list, and I gotta say, I don't care what anybody else thinks. To me, absolutely not, not an Aventus clone. This is Cedra Bois from Mansara. Forgive me if my French sounded terrible. This is like a bromelain pucker, like a punch. The, the citrusy, kind of pineapple-y, um, up front is bright, right there in the opening, but it's super tempered by this kind of sweet incense depth. It's woody, it's decadent. To me, it reminds me an awful lot of an open fire, not like the grill that you would use, you know, with gas, but one that you use like hickory charcoal and you take pineapple and you put it over the top and you cover it in butter and then you mix it with a little bit of vanilla gelato. That is one of my favorite, favorite all time warm weather desserts. It's bitching, you gotta try it if you haven't. Also, you gotta try if you haven't, this little piece of heaven, Cedra Boas from Mansara. This next one was introduced to me uh, by Tracy at the <laughs> my favorite fragrance shop in Portland, which is called Fumery. Okay, buddy, calm down. This is Incense Rosé from Tower Perfumes. This is like a deep pink and purple rose petal lifted up with this fizzy texture. There's incense resins that are bold, but they're not too stringent, not too, uh, you know, puckery. It has that sort of vanillic, woody tower DNA, but that just kind of holds it all together. 
It is a really beautiful uh, rose fragrance. I actually did a video recently of my top five rose fragrances for guys. You can go check that out over there. Uh, but definitely also check this one out. There's just something absolutely amazing about this, the way that the rose hits with all of that, that woody incense feel, incense rosé, tower perfumes. Fruity, leathery, woody, waxy, reminds me a whole hell of a lot somehow of New Orleans, even though I've never been there. This is Tempo Rubato from Mayor Olfactive. As I said, it's very fruit forward. It's got a nice little little bit of a, like a hint of leather. It comes off to me as kind of like a like crushed dandelions. It tempers that sweetness a little bit. It's well blended in like a symphony of scent. And my understanding is that Tempo Rubato literally means stolen time. And there's actually more of a story about, um, about that having to do with music, but we'll get into that in another video when I do a review of this. Tempo Rubato, Mayor Olfactive. This next one, I went all the way to New York City to get this. This is 10 a.m. Flirt from Kieran NYC. I picked this up at Scent Explorer from Mona herself, talked with her about it. I really, really love this brand. They're super sustainable conscious. They're really, really well priced. I mean, all of their fragrances are under a hundred bucks for the 50 ml and even cheaper for the, uh, the, the smaller travel sprays. This has got fig. This is nice and green. It's a little juicy, but definitely with that, that green fig leaf. It has uh, this nice sandalwood creaminess to it. Uh, it to me, it's super linear on, on me, which I don't mind at all because it's a hell of a fragrance. It's a banger. It's super playful. It's super spirited. Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of like um, having a few drinks um, in the middle of the night, stripping down into nothing and playing nude tag. I don't know, is that too graphic? One sniff, you'll understand what I'm talking about. 10 a.m. flirt from Kieran NYC. And last but not least on this list, uh, this is going to have a lot of you saying, what? Don't understand, Brandon. Well, I tell you what, uh, we'll just talk about it. This is Forbidden Plum from Alexandria Fragrances. Now, I know what you're thinking. Brandon, what the shit are you doing with a clone on your list? You don't do that sort of thing. Okay, now let me explain this. So, mainly, I can't find Plum Japanese, which this is a clone of, anywhere to save my life. At least not for anything under $500 for a 50 ml, which is just to me, I can't pay that kind of money. So, I picked this up, I have tested it against the original uh, Plum Japonais. I will do a comparison video in the future, so I won't get into it too much, but regardless of my feelings about how similar they are, I absolutely love this. This is fantastic. It's fruity, it's robust plum, it's resinous, it's green leaf. It has this kind of certain Fernet quality. Fernet is a alcoholic beverage that has a nice a uh, wonderful sweetness, but it's also very herbal and delicious. If you want to try it out next time you're at a bar, ask the bartender for a handshake. It's woody. It's great for spring. I honestly can't get enough of this. Super looking forward to wearing the shit out of it all spring long, and I will likely pick up the bigger bottle after this one's done, and I'm really hoping to get the original Plum Japonais as well. But for now, this one is fantastic, and if you can't ever find Plum Japonais, then I really suggest this. This is Forbidden Plum from Alexandria Fragrances. Well, beautiful people, that's the end of my list, my top 10 fragrances for this spring, 2021. It's been a hell of a year this last year, but things are feeling up. They're feeling a little better. I'm really looking forward to this spring, this summer, looking forward to getting out there a little bit more and I'm really hoping that you guys are doing well. Wholeheartedly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention, er mention earlier, uh, if you wanna check it out down in the description, um, I have a Kofi account set up. Doing videos with fragrances is a little bit expensive, so to help defray costs, to help grow my channel, um, I started a Kofi account. Hope that makes sense. I'm not saying that you have to, I'm gonna keep doing these videos regardless. Um, but all proceeds from my Kofi account will go directly into the channel, buying fragrances, upgrading equipment, that sort of thing. That being said, if you're new, thanks so much. Um, 
subscribers and longtime viewers. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video today. And um, again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Beat the shit out of that notification bell so you know when I drop future videos. I promise I got a lot of really cool stuff in the works. Please drop me a comment uh, down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys are planning on wearing this spring and let me know if any of these uh, of this selection uh, tickles you guys' fancy. Since you noticed Bucket was bugging me, I'm gonna go out and take him for a walk. So I hope that you guys are having a great week, a great weekend. Hope that you are taking care of yourselves and each other, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you're going, no matter what the weather is. Don't forget, keep calm, stink pretty, and I'll see you on the next one.